Hey, I have an audition to be one of you guys. Do you do ride-alongs? Have you seen this man? Oh, no. Is he pressing charges? Charges? For what? Look, could you just leave me out of this? Acting's hard, but getting a job in a place like this is impossible. How about we take you on that ride-along? In handcuffs. What part of vertically integrated do you not understand? Huh? Okay, yeah, who's operationalizing this project? Me or you? Me or you? Me? Yes, thank you. So stop apologizing, do your job. I don't need a trainer, I train myself. I like to uh, start off with a three hour shower. I bounce right over to the court, shoot some hoops, do some layups. Fine, yes, call me back in five. Call me back in three. It's go time. You'll never deliver that pizza, Ted Bisco. Looks like this time the cat has caught the mouse. And I... You just got Ted talked. We never called B-15. Bullshit! He called it a few minutes ago. I believe that was B-14. He said 15 and we all heard it. I'm sure I said 14. Tell you what, how about we take a picture together, call it even. I am so crazy about you. <laughs> There's nothing I wouldn't do for you. Oh, sweetie. Well, I think I remain one of the most revered figures in pop music because people still see me as being something very real and down to earth and a ray of light really in this world of pop pomposity and pantomime that absolutely kills me. I'm dying, you've killed me, can't you see my rotting corpse on the M4 motorway between Wilsdon and Swindon? Uh, uh. Did you get that? Did he get that? Can I just have a look, just, just to make sure, because I think it's, hello, I think it makes a fair point. Okay, yeah, here we go. So let me get this straight, Ten Pin. Let me make sure I understand your logic. You want to be the head pin. Want to stand at the front of the triangle like me. Do you have any idea what that takes? Standing out here all on my own every day. Living in fear that any minute, any second, I could have my skull cracked open by a gang of cops just so you and all the other pins can remain standing and safe. Do you know the kind of sacrifice that takes? Do you have any idea? Yeah, great, thanks. Yep, nailed it. Yeah, it's funny. This is funny. <laughs> so that's what I told him. Yeah, listen, Einstein, you might be hot scheiße in Berlin, but I'll tell you what I told Bob Musel, okay? As Gregor Samsa eines Morgens aus von ruhigen Träumen erwachte, fand er sich in seinem Bett zu einem ungeheuren Ungeziefer verwandelt. <laughs> Well, could somebody get me a check file and a coke? All right, look, listen, I was misquoted, all right? <laughs> <laughs> all I said was we're more popular than Jesus, and I was just stating it as a fact. I wasn't knocking religion as a belief, or God as a thing, or Jesus as a person, or Christ as a farmer. I just was simple, I said, and it was taken wrong, all right? And I meant it more for England than here. And they know I wasn't actually knocking Christ as a martyr, or Paul as a saint, or Ringo as a bus driver, <laughs> Queen as a postman. I mean, I don't know how to make it any more clear. I'm not anti-Christ or anti-matter or anti-Mimi. I'm just an uncle <laughs> bracelet hanging around trying to keep Mick Jagger's hands out of me breakfast for frost. <laughs> Look, listen, if you said it, then he said it, and then Edmund Earl of Oxford wrote it down on a sheepskin, and we'd all be having a bubble down the globe in glandular by now. <laughs> America, your head's too 